is it? Juicy Organ. Ugh. What kind of a name is that? Juicy or Juicy Organ. Ugh. And you look nasty too. Ugh. What's up guys? This is Snappy Cat and welcome back to more Trails of Cold Steel 4. I have nothing to say, so let's keep going. Adel. Adel? <laughs> it, was, it was like a mix between Edel and Adel. I was like confused and in between. Let's see. Acerbic tomato pizza. Sure. You try the recommended dish. Memorize the recipe for acerbic tomato pizza. Heading out, are you? I hope you enjoyed your meal. The vegetables I used were grown in my family home. Yeah, we sure did. You could really taste the freshness. Everything was delicious. It warms my heart to hear that. Frankly speaking, I've been a little self-conscious about my cooking lately. I've been searching through cookbooks and trying different recipes, but there's only so much one can achieve studying on her own. Really? I'm quite impressed with your cooking as it stands. Honestly, I know how you feel. A good cook always wants to improve. There are a lot of different recipes I want to try too, but I only have so much time and so many ingredients. That's exactly it. As long as I'm cooking with my vegetables, I want to bring their best qualities to the forefront of each dish. If that's the case, we could provide you with some of our own superb dishes. Oh! Superb dishes, you say? That would be wonderful, thank you. Then that's just what we'll do. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh, so we're gonna bring them like... Our best, like what? Unique dishes or just superb? If we gotta. Whenever we make a new superb dish, we'll bring it to you. I can hardly wait. Thank you ever so much. You can now offer Adel superb dishes. Ah, okay. So it is only the ones that are superb. Is the gold superb? I don't know. Luminary soup. I guess it's not. Hold on. Rainbow. I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be. Luminary soup. You have my deepest gratitude. Okay. You have my deepest gratitude. You have my here's a little re Hey. Okay, so it is the uh see it though like I've never made these I've, ne I've never made this stuff though you know what we'll worry about it later we'll worry about it another time who cares feel free to take all the time you need to relax we sure are getting a lot of customers today though good thing I decided to step up and pitch in wait pitch in yep I don't actually work here normally nothing more than a humble hunter but I know the owner of the place, so I help out every now and then. I thought that pub outside looked like a hunting dog. Guess he's yours then, huh? Aye. The owner of this place lives in a huge fancy mansion. She's a big fan of gardening, so the veggies she grows are top notch. I got to know her through making trades around harvest time. You folks are heading to Alster, right? Real nice place. Ain't exactly lavish, but it's perfect for getting some time away from the city to unwind. You still got a ways up the mountain to go from here. Be careful of monsters on the road, you hear? We will. Thank you for the advice. 
Alright, what do you got to shop? I'll buy one. What's our health at? Okay, we're all rail rested. Anyone up here? Probably not. No, I guess not. Alright, let's continue then. So, based on this map, Ulster should be... To the left. The path meanders quite a bit, though. Well, it's not getting any shorter. Let's get going. Okay... Well, I guess I should do a little recap. So, uh, I suppose like when we last left off, we made our way up here to the lodge. We met Gustav along the way. We met some characters who I think are from previous games. Uh, there's always the possibility that, that they could be new. It could be brand new characters we've never seen before, but I'm 90% certain that they are, you know, uh, old characters. So, yeah, that girl was really picking a fight. Like, bitch, really? You re you're really going to front on me now against the five of us? Okay, you ain't Ouroboros, bitch, okay? Pretty sure we'd smack you a thing or two. Phew! Finally here. It's been a long drive and I'm starving. I passed by a real fancy looking car on the way here. Sure are some strange people out there. I mean, this isn't exactly the time or place for people to just go about having a pleasant drive. Wonder where they're going. Well, doesn't matter to me because we got things to do, places to go, and I'm ready. We got an inn right there. Guessing we can't go this way. Aragon Mines. This is the way to Gustav's hometown. It's a pity we don't have time to go there now. Yes, there doesn't seem to be a singularity in that direction, so let's not head there. Yeah, I had to check, and you you know why, because that stupid dragon shrine. Bullshit. It's like I don't even have like the guide up right now. It's like I barely use it because I'm I'm, kind, I'm almost kind of worried. I mean, it it, it isn't exactly spoil, but it is kind of worrying. Just having it up, but whatever. Anyway, we got some new monsters here. <laughs> Shit! Shit! All right, turn around. There! Now's our chance. Okay. I got way too much shit here. Is it Juicy Organ? Ugh. What kind of a name is that? Juicy or Juicy Organ. Ugh. And you look nasty too. Ugh. A soft-bodied monster born from filth. Ugh. Its pliable form absorbs impact, but it's weak to slash attacks. Well, Kurt. And, uh, Ash, guess you're going in. Let's go! And I think we got another new monster over there, too, so... Oh, no, this is a magnet drone, whatever. Alright. Uh, get smacked. Huh, right there! It's mine! My turn. Brianna. Brianna, activate. Fire! There! They're mine! My turn. Vibrate. It's my turn. Okay, not bad. Oh shit. I didn't see that she wasn't close enough. Oh well. My turn. My turn. You need to get gone. Riona, activate. Fire! Now! They're mine! Alright! Ha! Ha! My turn! And since you used your unbound rage, we can. You're mine! Smack! <laughs> Very well. Chuck! Now! Target's eliminated. Move out. Not a bad enemy. Is 
do a little healing. <sighs> a good break. And we got this spider thing. This one might be worth my time. Okay, a little orchestra, or actually, that would be four turns though. Now we're just blue orchestra. Harmonize, blue orchestra. Well, we could have used. Uh... Nah, it's fine. Let's battle scope. Ha! Rock spider. A huge spider with a frigid body, or rigid body, as if made from thick layers of rock. Its large size means its appetite is never satiated. Sure. Here I go! Okay. And we'll just smack all of you. Can't escape! Wide open! I'll assist! I shall go. Oh, look at that. Look who's frozen. Rion act activate. Fire! Now! They're mine! Very well. Look at that. None of them can do anything. That is great. I mean, we'll just go back to the inn anyway, so you know what? Uh, there. I'm gonna go all out. Uh, Spider net. Don't give up. Thank you. Movement down. Ugh. Doesn't matter much. I got this. Hey, you. First in peace. It's down! Ooh. It's mine! I shall go. Fragara? Yes. Activate Fragara! Destroy! Alright! And we'll just brave smash through you. Uh, smash! Which barely did anything. Let's go. Whirling steel. Prepare yourself. Ha! Shatter. It's down. It's and mine. Smash. Damn it! I thought I was hoping you break. Don't give up. Thank you. I'll save you. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. Well, this will break you, definitely. Get out of here. Sure. Yeah, you just get 50 CP back just like that. Might as well avoid Breaker at this point. Now, be this! Here's dessert! That's what you get for being careless. It's down! It's mine! My turn. And Whirling Prepare Steel again, because why not? Ha! Shatter. That does damage, I gotta it's admit. Down. It's mine! I shall go. And look who's coming up on us out on a zero order. Like if this doesn't kill it then. Destroy. There. Oh yeah, you're dead. Get out of here. Oh and you would have been fainted. You know what I'm going to do? What's my U material situation like? I could. Like, it would definitely cost me a bit, but I would like to get some of these, uh... Status ailments up. Petrify. Like, it's gonna cost me like maybe most of my U material to do so, but 
it would be nice to just have these at a higher level. Like a 20%, like, even then. Like, I, I wouldn't have the money for it, but... It's like having Petrify 3 and 2 and 1 would be like crazy. That'd be like a 35, that'd be like a 30% chance. Just to Petrify. But I like keeping my options open. But having just higher, just better status ailments is just overall good. I'm going to wait until we get more. This will be a good fishing spot. As much as I'd love to just blow it all. Actually, you know what? I think I'll wait to come here. I'll go a little bit further up and then I'll heal. Hey, look, there's some fish there. I don't care. All right, so Alistair's right there. Well, before we go any further... Get a little rest in. Oh, that was refreshing. And then... We continue on. Oh, a nice open area. And that's a vineyard, I take it. Mueller's told me about the ones here. Alster's just a right turn away from okay. here. Okay. <laughs> Wide open. Yeah. Crop munchling. Eager to become as infamous as bigger crop mungers, it tears apart fields. Sometimes gets an irresistible craving for apples. What a jerk. Infam it wants to become infamous. My turn. And monsters that care about reputation. I got this. Huh. It's down. It's mine. All right. Huh. Very well. Yeah. Yeah, I knew now. you were gonna inflict the line. I got this. Or at least with that sand attack, anyway. Huh. Got no time to waste. Because like once I saw that, I'm like, Yuna's gonna be blind, isn't she? Yeah. God damn it. Oh well. Pretty good. Yeah, there it is. Ah! Let's wipe them out. All right. Search mode active. Scan complete. Giant crop muncher invades fields with a group of crop munchlings to devour crops. It totes around power boosting fruits. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good at all. My turn. It's my turn. Burning hot. Very well. Ah! Let's go. Harmonize. Blue Orchestra. Very well. And now we're ready to go. Right, it's down. It's mine. Damn it. Damn it. I shall go. Yeah, you're not blinding me. I'm sorry, bruh. But that's not happening. Free on fire. Now, they're mine. An opening. There. It's mine. Very well. It's like, I know your game. Right there. It's mine. Sure. Oh, and you're sealed and confused. Now, here's the sun. That's what you get for being it's careless. My turn. Uh. Let's get him. 
I shall go. Eh, there. They're mine. All right. Yes. We run. The big well, I don't know what you were capable of, but it looks like we're not going to find out right now. <laughs> Treasure located. <laughs> well, look at that. It's like, what is, what is even your reason for existing now anymore? When I completely no-sell your stupid whatever the hell status ailment you inflict because you're an asshole. <laughs> My turn. You got a golden palm? No? Alright. Uh, there! It's mine! Now! Can't get them all, but oh well. Real fire! There! They're mine! Sure. <laughs> yeah! Here I go! Uh, burning heart! An opening! It's down! It's mine! Uh, my turn. Activate destroy! <laughs> My turn! Look at that, you're trying to blind me, but you can't. You're mine! It's my turn! But you got a high freaking evasion anyway. Which sucks. <laughs> Very well. And look who's petrified. Very well. Yeah. Behold, the Vander style. <laughs> Yay, I... This is why I want better status ailments. This is exactly why I want them. I have a feeling something's gonna happen up here. Aw, look at those fluffy sheep. They seem well taken care of. They must belong to someone in town. Fields, sheep, we're in the sticks. <laughs> All right, we're gonna save here, just in case something happens in front of us. And we made it here without any problems. Alster, the remote town. So this is Alster. Rustic and quiet, just like my brother said. Dude, rustic? It's got more tumbleweeds than people. Being back here brings back memories. Memories? You've been here before? Just for a short while, I came here on a covert mission during the Civil War. We came to engage some former Jaegers that had escaped from the Noble Alliance forces. The old Class 7 happened to be here at the same time as I was. You worked with us for a little while. There's still so much I feel I still don't know about the Instructor. A lot of things happened during the Civil War. Jeez, even little Bunny was throwing her weight around. Hey, that's... Sandy! Military finance. There. That should do it. Still, is it really okay for me to be here? Shouldn't I be off fighting with everyone else? Sandy! Huh? C class 7? Wait, Ash? What are all of you doing here? Rustic Spot Inn. Or Sunny... I don't know why I said Rustic Spot. I don't know why I had Rustic on the mind. Sunny Spot Inn. I wonder, is this the same inn that we saw in the prologue? Like, is this the same place? Because it feels like the same place. Oh, so this is a tavern your family runs. I've heard good stuff about it, but it's even cooler in person. It's great you were able to make it back home. Yeah, but it's not really fair to everyone else. I mean, Maya and Sydney still aren't back yet. I don't think you need to worry about it, Sandy. 
Looks like Gustav made it back home after all. I am sure your parents were relieved to see you, Sandy. <laughs> I ho I sure hope so. That was a really nice thing to say, Ali. You're just getting more and more thoughtful. It's great to see you back with everyone, Ash. That's all you got to say to me? Damn, talk about underwhelming. <laughs> eh, I'm a big boy. I'll get over it. Anyway, your neck of the woods seems to be getting pretty sketchy these days. Yeah, things really have taken a turn for the worse. It all began right after that, uh, Great Twilight thing? Mayor Matham used to be a really gentle person, but he's been getting pretty pushy about conscription. It's not just him either. Some of the others in town have been acting just as strange. Yeah, this was the same place. I think it's where the anger and despair over what happened to Prince Oliver is being channeled. Ulster being his hometown is a huge point of pride for the people here. Including you. It can be traced back to the curse. It fills the lonely spaces in your heart with pure evil. That's what happened with Miguel and Brad. And I'm no exception either. Just thinking about it makes me want to puke. But you're okay now, Ash. You've got us. By the way, do you happen to know anything about this Peromagrass, Sandy? Only what I've heard. It's supposed to be connected to the Singularity somehow, right? I personally haven't come across any, but I do know someone who has. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you know Kai? He's usually at the workshop. It sounds like his sister Tilia's seen it blooming. And not too far outside of town, I think. A moment, please. I feel like I've heard those names before. That's right, Altina. We met Kai and Tilia during the Civil War. We should definitely go talk to them. Okay, let's get going. I'll get in touch with Maya, Gustav, and Sydney again. I'll also contact some alumni and see if they can help out. Oh right, there's also those two you mentioned. The woman's thing at the lodge? Something about that seems a little fishy. I mean, just who takes off in the middle of the night like that? Who indeed? I imagine we'd acquire some useful information if we made inquiries around town. What are we waiting for? Let's get to it! Oh, and who is this? Traveling Man. Who do we have here? Huh. This presence. Ah, yes. Students from the feel of it. Probably from a military academy if I had to guess. I don't know why I knew you'd be blind. It's like I saw you looking out the window with your eyes closed and my first thought was, are you blind? I don't know why I thought that, but it turns out you are blind. There's a musician among you as well. Whoa, how did you... This man appears to be blind. Heh, <laughs> my apologies. I seem to have given you quite the shock. Marcel Nielsen. Marcel Nielsen's the name. I'm a freelance journalist. I must say, I'm actually quite curious about your situation. That's why I was compelled to approach you. I think that I've actually heard of you before, Mr. Nielsen. You're active internationally, aren't you? I'm honestly pretty impressed you were able to notice these things about us. It's nothing special, really. When one loses their sight, things others cannot see become more obvious to them. That's all. You seem to be students of some kind, yes? Given the mix of weapons you have on hand, It'd be logical to conclude that you attend a military academy. One among you has a very similar feel to a certain musician I know. That's all there is to it. Whoa, I gotta hand it to you. That's pretty damn perceptive. I think I better uh, keep a little distance, you know what I mean? Yes, I believe that's wise, Ash. You mustn't risk unnecessary trouble at the moment. Uh. Please excuse our rudeness, Mr. Nielsen, but we actually have some tasks we must attend to. Yes, 
It does indeed feel that way. Pardon my intrusion, everyone. I know how busy you all are. You know, I'll be moving around Erebonia for the foreseeable future, collecting news and data. I'd like it if our paths were to cross again. When I imagined meeting Sandy's classmates, I certainly didn't think it'd be under these circumstances. Sandy gave me the gist of things. Getting this far must have been no small feat. Well, nothing's easy these days, really. <clears throat> How right you are. If there's anything that I can do, just say the word, okay? And be sure you don't overdo it. I tell Sandy that almost every day, like clockwork. Don't hesitate to place an order if there's anything you want to eat. Thank you very much, sir. Well, looks like we can also rest here. Might as well do that now. Just in case before we head out. Fatigue removed. Oh. And probably exchange. Get some extra money while we're at it. Anyone else here? Sandy. Well then, I gotta finish helping out here if I want to get to... investigating. For now though, I bet you're all quite hungry. Everything we've got is absolutely delicious. Er, objectively speaking, of course. Go on and try some if you want. Hey, free food. Thank you. This is very helpful. Alright, so we're investigating. A lot of people to talk to, and we got something down there as well. Hey, we got horses. Well, I don't really care about having horses. Like, all the way out here, like, when you've already gotten this far, it's like, what's the point? It's like, I would love to just start with the motorcycle, okay. I'll be honest. Oh, you guys. We lent you horses before. Since they banned horse racing and our members have been drafted, we've dramatically reduced our club activities. The horses seem really stressed out as a result. We took the trainer's advice and brought everyone to Ulster where we can relax in nature. If you wanted to borrow some borrow a horse or two, they'd love the exercise. Okay, that sounds like a great idea for us too. All oh, this nature really is wonderful, don't you agree? Yeah, this is the perfect place to let the horses run around. It'd be a great way for uh, for us and the horses to take a break. Right. I just wish the coach would have joined us. Things have been extra tough for him since he and the others got their draft cards. Let's make sure we come with them. Let's make sure we come with them next time. Alright. Oh, I've seen you around. You're Sandy's friends, right? I've seen you talking together. Ulster is a tranquil and sleepy town, but things have been different lately. <clears throat> Just be extra careful when you talk to the mayor, alright? Oof. Oh, you're affected, aren't you? This war is a chance to take revenge for what happens to Prince Oliver. I must ask the rec residents to cooperate as much as they can with the draft and requisition of goods. Father Nagaro hasn't given his consent, but I don't care. Whoa, he's on a real rant. Hmm? Do you need something from me? Well, well, what do we have here? A group of strong-looking youths. If you're looking to join the war effort, you're more than welcome. According to Sandy, the mayor started calling for conscription. Damn it, things just can't ever just be a breeze, huh? Horses, chickens. Let's see. We got some people down here. Oh, look, what an adorable black cat. Isn't she, though? Her name's Pearl. She's lived in the distillery for quite some time now. Cats and alcohol have a close relationship. It's been said that alcohol from a barrel a cat has jumped on is even more delicious. Even the mayor had a soft spot for this little one. 
but recently he seems to have gone cold on her. I see. Is there anything else strange that you've noticed? It doesn't matter how small. Hmm, let me think. Actually, a little while ago they found an artifact in a basin near the town. An artifact? It was in the shape of a lamp. I was told the Imperial Museum took it. I remember that. It was the internal candelar. Oh yeah, I remember that. It was like, we went out and we fought, and it like, used the higher elements. Made the higher elements like available like anytime you fight. It also changed like the enemies as well. So you had, so if you didn't scan the enemies, you would have missed them. That piece of junk the guy from the museum asked us to test. Has that happened before at the basin? <laughs> not really. But people don't really go there much to begin with, so... Finding some mysterious thing once in a blue moon doesn't feel that strange. I see. Thank you very much for speaking with us. I'm just glad I could be of service. Alright, I don't want to go in there yet. We also got shops. Welcome! We've got the classic Ulster famous Stein Rose. That's not all. Try our new grape juice! No trip to Ulster is complete without a sip. Wow, you sell juice here too? I'll give that a try. Yeah, yeah. Grapes are good for your health. They make you beautiful inside and out. I recommend it to all female customers. I recommend it to the girls who came around here yesterday too. The ones who stayed at the inn? Was it a couple of girls? One blonde and one brunette? Oh, they friends of yours? I saw them in the evening, so I remember them well. I had come back to collect something I'd forgotten, saw them heading in the direction of the basin. We don't go there ourselves. I wonder what they were doing there. The basin. I'd like to know more. We're getting closer to tracing their movements now. That's great and all, but I came here to shop. My name is Lot. I look after the sheep. Papa and Mama asked me to look after them. Papa and Mama are working at a place called Aragon. The mines. Is this place... Like Prince Oliver's grave? Yes. Or his mother? Site of the former Lenheim residence. Lenheim. That's the surname that Prince Oliver used when he helped us out in Crossbell, isn't it? According to Mueller, it's the name that he used while staying in the borough. From what I've heard, it's his late mother's surname. Look, it says here that it was destroyed by the lightning strike in May. Whoa, maybe it was a bad omen. That's bull. When your time comes, it comes. I don't think Adios gives a shit one way or another. General stores don't usually carry flowers, do they? Not usually, no. But a quick peek couldn't hurt, right? The group offered a small flower bouquet they found at the store. After a silent prayer, they began their operations. Okay, well, I was wrong. It's not his grave, but... It probably still counts to the people here. I mean, his mother's gone. He's gone. Lenheim family residence. Here lies all the remains of the proud Lenheim home. Burned down by a strike of lightning in May 1206. Its presence is dearly missed by all. Alright. Kai and Tilly is home. Let's go there first. Sandy said that this is the house. I imagine it is then. Shall we? Excuse me, is this where Kai and Tilia live? Oh, hey. 
Hello. Yes, it is. Wait, isn't that Ellie and Altina? Hello. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? You've both grown so much. I I can't believe my eyes. You're here. It's been so long. Since the Civil War, right? So around two years now. If it had been for you, I really don't know what would have what we would have done. So this girl must be Tilia then. She's super cute. <laughs> that brother of hers looks pretty scrawny, but he seems like he's got a good head on his shoulders at least. Oh, I'm sorry. We should be welcoming you in. Are you in class 7 too? I don't remember seeing you with the Evers last time. <laughs> well, that's because we weren't there. Or we weren't here. We're sort of the next generation. We're looking for information about our instructor. Reen Schwarzer. No way. Reen is... I still can't believe what's going on. And you say that black grass that Tilia saw is the clue that leads to Reen? I will leave out the details for the time being, but he is most certainly in a precarious situation. We like to help out if we can. No, we're going to. Yes. We would like to gather any information we can. I saw the black grass in Osgiliath Basin, north of town. I was there to gather medicinal herbs, so I only came across it by chance. I saw them in the middle of the basin, though. Ah. I haven't heard a lot about this place. All I know is that it's somewhere on the outskirts of Le Maire. Well, it's the sort of place you don't drop by unless you're on specific reason. It's also known as the Forbidden Basin. A lot of ancient ruins and artifacts have been evacu- ex excavated there. What kind of name is that? Is it okay to tell us about it? Well, I trust you guys, but it's not really something we would just share with outsiders in general. We've received a lot of help over the years. There was that incident with those Jaegers two years ago, and the stuff with the artifact two years before that. It's our turn to help someone now. Although, we're hardly doing anything just telling you a location. That's not true, Tilia. It's just what we needed to know. So thanks a million to both of you. We'll make good use of it so we can connect these clues to Reen. Definitely. And we'll get to the bottom of this for you guys too. Kai, Tilia. We'll be sure to stop by once Instructor Rain has returned, alright? Okay, we'll be waiting. Osgiliath Basin's to the north, right? It'd be nice if we had some more information. I remember... <laughs> watching a video. Like the Let's Play of Bittersweet Gamers, and they were like, Osgiliath Basin. It's like you have... Osgiliath Osborne. Osgiliath Basin. Osgiliath. It's like there has to be a connection, right? And like just hearing that name, it's like Osgiliath. Like, that's not a coincidence. There's no way that's a coincidence. Like that that name is it's 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 too similar. There has to be something about this place. Especially if like a whole bunch of like artifacts and other things have been excavated there like something is weird about that place oh we got a vantage master match god damn it Kai Tilly and I have been on our own for several years now so we're pretty used to it by now Gasco has been very kind to me ever since I became his apprentice at the workshop my sister takes care of the chores Sandy taught her how to cook we're both doing what we can for those who've looked after us. Um, I know that everyone's super busy, but... What is it, Tilia? You know that card game, Vantage Masters? I started playing it recently. 
Everyone says that it's a real rabbit hole when it comes to gameplay strategies. Seriously, there are like a million card types. The next time you have a bit of free time, let's play a round or two. Sounds like a plan. We're all super into it too. Well, gotta get that done. Uh, do I really want to read all this? No, I don't. Alright. So I'm going to save here, and then I'm going to challenge Tilia. Alright, so I beat Tilia. Time to go. And we got the distillery next. I think I've been to the chapel yet. Yeah. After what happened to his majesty, we also received news of Prince Oliver's passing. The official funeral service had, was carried out in Heimdall, but we also held a mourning mass here in Ulster. At the time, we didn't know where Sandy was either. Her parents were overjoyed when she returned to town. I was incredibly relieved as well. I can't believe I'd lived to see not only his mother, but also Prince Oliver pass away. I remember when he used to play in our fields, the ones near the main road. He often helped during harvest too. I suppose one thing we might think Adios for is the reunion between mother and child. A long time ago now, I made a promise with Mayor Matha. Let's do what we can for the town to prevent the residents from suffering. But now it's as if his patriotism has caused him to change completely. <sighs> Why am I so pathetic? We also got a private home down here. You're not from around here, are you? Have you met Mayor Matham yet? These days he's gotten to be a real forceful with things. Perhaps too much at times, but I don't blame him. The Lendhine residence burned down one of Alistair's last pieces of Prince Oliver. All the mayor's doing is to honor him in any way he can. I'm sure. My husband may say otherwise, but I'm actually a bit concerned about that mayor of ours, to be honest with you. He used to be calmer, more peaceful, never one for a quarrel. Then that horrific incident with Prince Oliver came to pass. If we at least had the Harvest Festival, it could take his mind off things. So this is a brandy distillery, huh? Gotta say, I really don't know anything about alcohol. Me too. I still have a bit longer to wait before I'm able to drink, so it's still a foreign world to me. This is totally Instructor Sarah's element though, oh my goodness. This is one of those moments where it's just like, man I could bring Elliot, I could bring Fee, I could bring Sarah, and it'd be great. Huh, <laughs> that booze hound would go wild in a place like this. Which makes me wish I brought her. Like, maybe in a, in a new game plus one day, I'll think, okay, next time I'll bring Fee. And then in the next playthrough, I'll bring Sarah so I can see her reaction to this place. Because that'd be funny. It shouldn't be a problem if we took a look around, right? Even if some of us are underage? We might even find an important clue or other information inside. Indeed. We should speak with the people here, just in case. Ah, I wonder if Blanc even saw it though, saw it through, or Blanc. Oh sorry, I didn't notice you here. Welcome to the Steinrose Distillery. Are you here for a tasting? Well, that's not exactly the case. We're all underage, so we're going to have to pass this time. I, I see. Please accept my apologies for making premature assumptions. We produce a number of grades of liquor and juice here at Steinrose. At the moment, we currently have next to nothing on hand or in storage. Our drink tasting is currently suspended, I hate to say. 
but we do intend to restart this service as soon as possible. With any luck, it'll be back in operation by your next visit. Aw oh, man. Well, I guess there ain't much you can do about that. It would be a pleasure. We'll be sure to stop in again once we're old enough. The first day of summer? What in the world is that supposed to mean? Probably just some prank, I guess. Uh, excuse me, is something wrong? Oh wow, this is a pretty rural distillery. So we don't really get too many younger faces around here. We're actually not conducting tours at the moment. I'm really sorry about that, since you must have come a long way. <laughs> it's not every day we get to see the inside of a distillery. We were curious, so we ended up stopping by. What were you looking at there, by the way? Oh, we just received an order from Ordis for our next batch. That's a normal occurrence, but there was this strange sheet of paper slipped in with the order form. I've never seen anything like it before. Ah, uh, maybe it was like a... hidden message or something? I guess you could call it a poem? I can't tell if it was a particular meaning or if it's complete nonsense. A poem? That's weird as shit. Hand it over, dude. Sure. It wouldn't really keep me up at night or anything, but you kids knock yourselves out. I tried to decipher it on my own, but I couldn't get anywhere. It's yours if you're interested. I'd throw it out otherwise. When seven lions visit on the first day of summer, the maiden will wait in the north in vain, planning out her moves. Huh. Could the seven be referring to the Divine Knights? Because there are seven Divine Knights, right? I'm pretty sure there are. It's like we have Reen, Osborne, a Crow, Let's see what's her name. The Steel Maiden. Rudger. Who else? Oh, and uh, what's his name? Prince Cedric. I think he has the Vermilion Knight. So that's six right there. But we're still missing like one more night, though. I'm pretty sure there's seven. This is quite strange. If we assume that this is applicable to us, we can draw a fair amount of parallels. Seven lions who visit on the first day of summer. Seven lions. It could also refer to... Thor's graduates. We could take that to mean members of Thor's Class 7 who come here to Ulster. And then this maiden that is waiting and preparing her next moves. Ah, musing. Ha! <laughs> it's gotta be her, right? I mean, she knew we'd make it all the way here to find this note. There ain't a lot of people that can pull that- Oh my god. I just had that thought. But I thought it was way too st I thought it was way too far off. Like, a hidden note from Muse, like, all the way out here. Like, she does seem like the kind of person who'd be smart enough to pull it off, but at the same time, it's like, nah. Like, what are the chances that they'd make it here at this exact same time before the note gets, like, thrown away or something? I thought there's no way. Like, like one of my thoughts was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know who the maiden could have been. Is the Grand Master a woman? I don't know. It does feel like a bit of a leap, but yeah, exactly. It's such a leap. Like that. Like, it wasn't my first thought. But it's like. I, I thought Muse? Like, there's no way. Like, a hidden message? Like, that sounds like something Muse would do, or it sounds like something. I don't know, some. 
shady organization that we probably know of is doing. I don't know. But Muse was a thought, but then I just brushed it off like, there's no way. Like, she saved it for us? No way. It's possible, given who we're thinking about. So it was Muse? Jesus Christ. It could be a clue, but it could just be as easily be complete nonsense. If we can't definitively say which it is, then we should keep our minds open to any and all possibilities. Right, right. The North, huh? Well, that's the basin that Tilia told us about. Alright, between what we heard from Kai and Tilia, and that message from the distillery, it's pretty obvious where our final stop's gonna be. Yeah. The Osgilia Basin. It's very likely that we'll find another singularity there, and catch up with a certain someone as well. Can't forget about that pair of hot chicks we ran into. They checked out the place last night. We can't exclude the possibility that it might be a trap. Nonetheless, I'd like to go there and speak face to face with whoever we may find. Yep, I'm on the same page there. Osgilia Basin is north of the city but we should be well prepared before setting off. Well, we're as prepared as we're gonna be. There's no shops here that are selling weapons, but we can always like go back to the other towns. We can always fast travel there. There are no side quests or anything, so... trial chest we can't open. Oh, Curtin Altina. We didn't open this? Oh, wait, no. Yes, we did. I was about to say, I was looking at this like, wait, what? Like, I'm pretty sure we did that. We wouldn't have missed that. It's like, it wasn't grayed out, so I thought we hadn't have done it. Like, what? Okay. So, yeah, we got everything, so... Uh, yeah, we're just moving on, I guess. Oh, the mayor. Where do you think you're going? I've been watching you just loitering around town. Or is it, was, it, was it saying, what do you think you're doing? I don't know. I would not allow any suspicious behavior on my watch. Yeah, yeah, chill out, dude. Eat a Snickers, you're not you when you're hungry. Like, that's it. Like, that's, that's all it did. The great darkness just made everyone hungry, and everyone eats a Snickers. That's it. Everyone just needs a Snickers. That's all there is to it. But, we... <laughs> Do they even have candy here? They, they, they have candy. It's a pretty modern town. You gotta have something equivalent to a Snickers. Have we been to Gasco's store? I don't think we have. Or maybe we have, I don't know. Nope, we have not been in here. Kai puts his sister's well-being above everything else. That's why he works so late to make sure we've got enough to meet her needs. It's a far cry from Dad's constant drinking. He practically lives at the bar. I just hope he isn't a bad influence on Kai, given how much he looks up to my father. Alright, so we got Pecky buying that. Alright, let's max out these battle scopes while we're here. Don't really need that many, but you never know. Kai's been working here as a new apprentice for the past few years. He's an incredible engineer now. It's nice to know that even if I decided to hang up the old toolbox, the shop would be in good hands. Oh my god, it's so tempting. It's just... Make it all. We also got these slots, man. Uh, it's gonna be a while before I can open up all of these. The X rod. It would increase it, but I don't really care about you. Like, that's 3U material that could go for us, dude. Let's see, look at that, man. 
Metrify 2. Oh my god, Metrify 3. Oh my god, it costs so much. It's like, yeah, that's the reason why it costs so much, is because it's so good. It's like, that's why. Well, it's gonna be a while, so... Best not to worry about it now. Though I do need to probably increase... I have wanted to get move 2. Or move 3, whichever. Like, pretty cheap. I just need one more move. Alright, we're going out. And let's go. Oh, it's here, all right. It's reacting. There's definitely something here. This is the Osgilia Basin, the so-called Forbidden Land. We should be careful. Anything could happen in a place like this. Yeah, yeah, let's go already. Time to begin the search. Man, this feels like a Forbidden Land. Look how fucking gray it is. Dark. Hey, uh, did it just suddenly get darker? Is a storm coming or what? Oh yeah. I don't think it's a storm. The air feels different somehow. Are the higher elements active? I wouldn't be surprised if they are. Ha! I'll show no mercy. It's mine! My turn! Alright, well, that's why I don't like Yuna's assault attack. It's like, it's so slow, like, come on. Like, Kurtz is like, instant. Anyway, we got some new monsters here. It's a damn shame they caught us first, but... Yeah. Lantern Spider. When it senses danger, it ruptures the lantern-like sack on its back, causing damage to its attacker. I hope that doesn't mean it explodes. Well, it's weak to freeze and petrification, so... I shall go. Carabase. Flying insect monster. Its bright sturdy shell protects it from physical attacks. All right. Oh no the fuck you don't. I don't know what the fuck you think you're about to do, but uh... Harmonize. Blue Orchestra. It's like once it said it erupts its, it's sack, turn. I knew it was gonna fucking explode. I knew you were gonna be a bitch. That. Stop that. My turn. Huh. Yeah, it's mine. Let's go. Strike. It's down. It's mine. Now. Rionac activate fire. Now. There's more! And we got this thing. Here you Damn go with it. the fire. Not today! Here I go! That's probably easier going down. Yeah! Gulmar. A violent bug monster that had a strange evolution. It's swift enough to take down birds and easily strangles prey. Man, you look violent. Kind of alien. My turn. Yeah. 
I got this. Now. Yeah. All right. Ha, ha. Oh, and you're frozen. My turn. It's uh. over. My turn. You're mine. Uh huh. It's down. It's mine. My turn. Yeah. There. They're mine. All right. Top, top. Ooh. <laughs> well, look at that. And there you have it. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's get a move on. Oh, we got a chest. Ash and Altina. Level 73. All right, so I saved and we're gonna find out what's in this chest. A powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Uh, I shall go. All right then. Search mode activate. Scan complete. Mantis Devourer. An evolved form of Neo Mantis. Nourished by countless others of its kind. Her scythes are terrifyingly sharp. Yeah, that's something you can expect from a mantis, like they eat their own kind. It's like, oh, you want to fuck me? Sure, go ahead, but I'm eating you. Like, eh, it's worth it. Sure. Uh, let's go crazy hunt. Go wild! Crazy hunt! I got this. In fact, I should have waited to do that. Because I'm going to Void Breaker. Or <sighs> Unbound Rage. Yeah! I shall go. Activate Bragara. Destroy. Now. It's mine. Ah. Uh. My turn. Now, be this. Here's dessert. That's what you get for being careless. All right, this ain't looking too bad. Yeah. I'll assist. Now. Activate Bragarock. Destroy. Now. It's mine! Oh, when you're frozen. My turn. And guess what? Go wild! Crazy hunt! I got this. And guess what? Now, be this! Here's dessert! <gasps> oh, That's what you get for my being god. You really had to miss. My turn. And you really had to catch fire. Real knack activate. Fire. There. It's mine. Now. Real knack activate. Fire. Now. It's mine. Sure. Okay, that's fine. Belial Raid. This could potentially finish it off. And you know what? Well, actually, no. I was about to say, and I'll be also S break with Altina, but then I thought, nah. Now, let's dance. Ha! 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 I ain't done with you yet. Blah! If I'm lucky, it'll be a critical. Or it, it, it is a critical, but... Sweet dreams. 
How much damage? Almost enough to win! And go. you're confused like a bitch! Reenact! Finish it off! Break it! Ooh! Battle complete. Let's continue. That wasn't bad. That was probably the easiest one I've had yet. That was easy. Got some Zerum powder. Overcame the trial. Ash's order Crazy Hunt has been upgraded to Crazy Hunt EX. Let's take a look at that. Six turns. Yeah, I think it was four turns before, but now it's six turns. That is pretty significant. That is pretty good. That is good. That, 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 that good. That good. That good. Wipe them out. All right, what are you? Search mode activate. Detailed information obtained. Deaf Scorp, a sturdy, formerly aquatic insect that grew wings from a mutation. It charges enemies with its stout yet sleek body. Ugh, so many nasty bug creatures, man. Why? I got this. Oh, why? Let's go. Oh, you sleep. Yeah, it's down. It's mine. And you're petrified. My turn. Give up. Yeah, now. They're mine. My turn. Oh my god. If, if an enemy gets petrified, that should just be the end of the fight, really. Two enemies are petrified. It's over. Yeah. Behold, the Vander style. Like, once you get petrified, it's over. You're done. Goodbye. Oh, we got a strong one over here, don't we? Go guard. It's strong. Search mode activated. Scan complete. Scorpion King. A giant marine monster with spines covering it. With its powerful arms and tail, it seldom allows prey to escape. Man, that thing looks like it would stab you to death. My turn. Ah! Very well. Oh, sure. And blue orchestra. Harmonize. Blue orchestra. I got they're this. about to smack our asses. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I'm yeah. about to say. If that was an instant kill, I was about to. Oh, you lucky. Let's just say you lucky. Real act at fire. Now, they're mine! Ugh. Of course. Not like turn. you did much. Look at this asshole over here. Stop that. Here I go. I'm sorry, but we're not having it. Wide open. I'll assist. Uh, I got this. Hey, you. Now, activate the storm. Let's go. All right, it's down. 
It's mine! All right! And you're frozen. And why not? Let's do this! Dragon 2! Uh, uh, uh. I got this. And why not? Uh, it's go time! Uh, uh. It's mine! I shall go. Activate the Fragara. Oh, you're still alive. For real? I knew that was gonna My happen turn. sooner or later. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Thanks, let's go. It's fine. Ah! My turn. You wanna know why? Cause you're dead. Uh, Is that all? I mean, I was gonna go back and heal anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Treasure located. Seal two. Oh ha! my God! They actually just gave me a seal two. Locked and loaded. That is great. And I can use it to get a seal three, probably for Ash. And, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. But I'm not gonna be able to equip it, am I? Yeah, need to upgrade our slot. It's bound to happen sooner or later. Yep. Now I have seal three. Oh man, I want to get petrified three so bad. I think I might just do it. I mean, why not? Yeah, I think we're good. I think we are very good, so we're gonna head on back. Gilead Basin, huh? Whoa. The view is stunning but unsettling at the same time. And what's all the way down there? Looks like we hit the jackpot. It could be dangerous here. Let's tread carefully. Looks like we got an airship surrounded by Pleromagrass. Wow. Uh, we're gonna have a a Panzer Soldat battle. Alright guys, looks like we're in for a boss battle, and a Panzer Soldat battle, so, uh, I hope we're ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> 